Once upon a time, a little woman was walking down a dusty, dirty road. It was clear that she was already very old, but her walk was effortless and her smile resembled that of a carefree girl. She stopped and looked down at a crouching figure that was sitting by the side of the road. The little woman bent down to the figure and asked, Who are you? Two almost lifeless eyes looked up wearily. Me? I'm sadness, she whispered, the voice faltering and so quiet that it was barely audible. Oh, sadness, exclaimed the little woman happily, as if they were old acquaintances. You know me? asked sadness suspiciously. Of course I know you. Time and time again you accompanied me part of the way. Yes, but, sadness questioned, then why don't you flee from me? Aren't you afraid? Why should I get away from you, my love? You know only too well that you catch up to every runaway. But what I want to ask you is, why do you look so disheartened? I, I'm sad. The grey figure answered with a cracked voice. The little old woman sat down beside her. So you're sad, she said and nodded sympathetically. Why don't you tell me what is weighing you down so much? Sadness sighed deeply. Oh, you know, she began hesitantly and was amazed that someone would actually want to listen to her. It's just that no one likes me. It is my destiny to go among the people and stay with them for a certain period of time. But when I visit them, they shy away. They are afraid of me and avoid me like the plaque. Sadness held back tears. They invent in sentences with which they want to dismiss me. They say, nonsense, life is cheerful and your fake laughs lead to stomach cramps and shortness of breath. What does not kill you makes you stronger, and then they get heartaches. Or you just have to pull yourself together, and they feel it is too much effort. Or only whims cry, and then the tears come all too easily. Or they numb themselves with alcohol and drugs so they don't have to feel me. Oh yes, confirmed the old woman. I have also met such people many times. Sadness crouched a little more. I actually just want to help the people. When I'm very close to them, they get to meet themselves. I help them tend their wounds. Those who are sad have particularly thin skin. Some suffering reopens a poorly healed wound, and that hurts a lot. Only those who allow the grief and cry all their unshed tears can really heal their wounds. But people don't want me to help them with that. Instead, they paint a smile over their scars, or they put on a thick armor of bitterness. Sadness fell silent. Her crying was weak at first, then it got stronger, and eventually it turned into sobbing. The little old woman took the slumped figure comfortingly in her arms. How soft and gentle she feels, she thought, and tenderly caressed the trembling bundle. It's okay to cry sadness, she whispered lovingly. Rest so that you can regain strength. From now on you should no longer walk alone. I will accompany you so that discouragement does not gain more power. Sadness stopped crying. She sat up and looked at her new companion in amazement. B but, but who are you? Me? The little old woman said with a smile. I am Hope.